welcome back to my channel. So glad to see that you guys have clicked on my video. And if you haven't already, I hope that you will subscribe so that you stay tuned to all the upcoming videos I will be posting. For today's video, I'll be doing the sort of popular write or die tag, except I'm going to do a little twist. This was actually inspired by Jacqueline Hill because she posted a video about it and applying it on my face so that you guys can see how it looks, how it applies, why I actually like the product. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to start off with is my face. So one thing that I really like using is the Benefit the Professional Matte Rescue, and it looks like this. This is just sort of like a pre-step that I take before I go in with my actual primer. And if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at my mirror um, that I have on my vanity. I'm at my vanity right now, uh, actually genuinely getting ready. It feels really comfortable, not tightening or anything. I really love this uh, for my oily skin. And if you have oily skin, I really highly recommend it. I use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying primer. <sighs> Y'all. I am obsessed with this primer primer you guys like I love this way more than my Becca ever matte and poreless one this one is so amazing you guys it mattifies your face like no other and it keeps it matte and I love it so generally I put it you know on my t-zone where I get oily on my chin and kind of work it into my smile lines so that, you know, nothing creases and everything stays matte. Go in with my MAC Pro Long Foundation and it looks like this. I love it because it gives you that full coverage that you look for in a foundation. It covers flawlessly. Um, this is actually something I do want to get in my kit. A little goes a long way. I did one squirt, maybe like one squirt and one third, one and one third of a, <laughs> of a pump of foundation. I don't know why I always say squirt. I'm sorry, guys. And I don't like to really cake on my foundation. Like, I still want to have that full coverage foundation, but I just don't want to cake it on ever. Normally, I go in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is definitely my ride or die holy grail concealers um i have it in the orange one which i use around my mouth my under my eyes and you know wherever else that didn't cover with the foundation um but i don't know if i should use it today maybe i'll use it today just for the video sort of aliexpress is this from aliexpress no this is from ebay Taking this dupe of the Artiste brush and I'm going to blend it in. And around the eye with this brush, you have to be really careful and make sure that you are not dragging too much. So I really pat the orange concealer and then brush when I go out. And make sure that I go in and out. Uh, with concealer, you want to do that as, with it as well. Whether you're blending with a beauty blender or whatever, you don't want to swipe. You want to go in and out. I'm taking the Elegant... Elegant... Taking the LA Girl HD Concealer in Toffee. I'm going to use this to highlight. So that orange concealer I use to color correct and also cover up any darkness under the eye. Um, I don't have that much darkness, like it's not really that serious, but I have been enjoying doing color correcting on myself as well as my clients, and I'm kind of obsessed a little bit, so <laughs> to say the least. But this color, if you're around my skin complexion, is great for highlighting. I also really enjoy the color Fawn, but I'm all out of that one, so. Okay, I also want to talk to you guys to make this kind of like a get ready with me, so. I'm really excited to watch The Voice tonight. That's like one of my favorite shows. Um, do you, have you guys watched The Voice? Or do you watch The Voice? I personally love The Voice. And I love that, you know, they have two females on the voice. Like, now I'm going to set my under eye concealer. I'll be using the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Pressed Powder and Translucent. And this has become a holy grail. Um, I actually use this in my kit as well. I love how it goes with all skin tones. 
and complexions. And the simple fact that this is actually translucent blows my mind because it's so hard to find like a translucent powder that's actually translucent. Believe it or not, like I would know like if it's translucent or not. And I use this as an under eye sort of eye brightening powder. And I love how convenient it is. It's pressed, it's translucent, it highlights, it freaking doesn't move. It's awesome. And, and I like that I can put this on my forehead being that it's mattifying. After that, I'm going to go in with, where is it? Where is it? I had to go and get it out of my makeup bag that lets you know how much I love it. It's the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. <laughs> Hello. I mean, it's in the color 218, and I use this all over the face. Um, generally, I don't use full coverage powder in foundation but for the sake of this video I am so that you guys can see everything that I love okay so now that I'm somewhat done with my face I'm gonna move actually towards my eyes I love my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion this is in the I think old packaging they have a wand now so it makes it so hard for me to buy any other eyeshadow prime uh, primer or eye base because this one works really good for me and my skin. I will try out some other primers, but just for now, this is my ride or die and I love it. Okay, whatever I have left from the Rimmel Stay Matte, I will use to set that in place. So for eyeshadow palettes that I have not put together myself and like Z palettes and whatnot, I love the MAC eyeshadow palette. This is the Warm Neutral 15 Pan. And it's everything. Like, this is me in a palette. Like, this is go-to eyeshadow eyeshadows that <laughs> I love. Like, it's so hard to explain, like, how much I love this. The pigmentation is really great. Even though it's in palette form, sometimes I get scared with that because things that are in individual eyeshadows compared to when they're put into palettes, sometimes the quality goes down and I just don't get that, but it happens. And this is not the case with this. I also do want to mention that uh, like single eyeshadows that I love. Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, that's one of my favorite transitions. But I also love this eyeshadow. It's the NYX eyeshadow in the color Heat. I love this. I will be filming a makeup tutorial, sort of fall makeup tutorial using this eyeshadow and I'm so excited for that but I won't be using that today but I just wanted to let you guys know that those are my all time favorite single eyeshadows. So I'm going to start off with this color right here. This is the color Saddle so I'll be starting off with that one and using that as a transition color. I love that this palette has that color Saddle in it because it is if you are of my skin complexion, I feel like you'll really love Saddle by MAC. And it's funny because a lot of people try and say how like, oh, like no one's really a fan of MAC anymore. Like, what? How can you not be a fan of MAC anymore? Like, do you know MAC is like the mother of everything that you're buying pretty much? As an example, uh, you're trying to buy makeup products from a company that they're getting their makeup products from, like their uh, their ideas, their inspirations. I feel like it comes from MAC, honestly, because MAC is gold. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this color Amber Lights and pack that all over the inner lid. So it's a pretty gold. Next, I will be taking this color, Ginger Snap. Saddle again and sort of clean up the line that happened while I was putting the shadow on so that there's no harsh lines. I guess that's the proper way of saying it. This color, dark brew. And I'm going to take a more smaller brush and I'm going to put that on the outer V. Kind of like, what should I do? You know what? Forget it. 
let's just go all out. Same one that I use, the same smaller one, and go into this color right here. This is in the shade Dance, Dance in the Dark. So it's got a little bit more here, sort of like I'm going to do an eyeliner, and then I'm going to just push it forward, and then in the crease, blend. So then it looks like that eye. I don't know. I really like my eyes to look super blended, so I do the most. Definitely check out this eyeshadow palette. I think it's really awesome. Um, and if you were ever interested in trying like MAC eyeshadow, I think it's best to try this palette first um, because their eyeshadows are like six dollars, six dollars a pop, which is still not that bad. It's like what uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It used to be ten dollars, but now it's six dollars, and that's like Makeup Geek. And to get it in a palette form is awesome and you end up saving a lot another more thing action. i really like about the eyeshadow is there's no freaking fallout thank you jesus i'm going to move into eyeliner so i wanted to mention two different types that i love to use i like to use the stila stila the stila stay all day liquid eyeliner and also obsess over this maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner this is the blackest eyeliner of life like I love it so freaking much it's so creamy and so easy to use like this is the first gel eyeliner that I started with and I was no in no way shape or form a pro and this has guided you know my eyeliner application as far as using gel if you're a beginner I highly recommend this one over any other one like the Inglot or this is a splurge for eyeliner honestly but I honestly love this eyeliner and I'll be using this one actually because it's really quick you'll see this is so black and I love how matte this eyeliner gets this is a velt tip type of eyeliner so tend to have to dr uh, shake it onto mascaras I have another affordable mascara that I really love but I'm unfortunately all out of that one I'll let you know how much I love it it's the Rimmel Last Accelerator that's like the best drugstore mascara that I've tried um it's awesome I love how it lengthens my eyelashes and you know so you can actually see my eyelashes because I have really you know smaller not as thick type of eyelashes so I love that one but this one has also been really good for me and it's actually unfortunately because it's so expensive is becoming a ride or die mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I love this for volumizing. So that's my top lashes there. Um, I'm actually going to be putting on lashes. The two eyelashes I have here, this is my all time favorite um, eyelash. This is Misha Lashes by Coco. I live for these lashes. Like, if you guys haven't seen my recent unbo makeup unboxing, you know that I purchased like three or four pairs of these. Like, the, the love is real. Um, you guys, the way these lashes look is like no other lash that I own and it's so comfortable and you know it doesn't have that thick band you can wear these literally every day you can wear this going out to glam up your makeup whether you're doing simple makeup or not simple and going out makeup these lashes will literally make your look that's why I love about these um also ones that I've actually really been enjoying I just purchased uh, I think maybe two pairs of these lashes on eBay it's these lashes that look right here um I'll try and leave a link down below to where you guys can purchase this because when you see the price of getting three pairs of these lashes for like three bucks you're literally you're gonna shit yourself but these are so awesome for the price and they're so comfortable. Um, they don't really have like that thick band, but it has a band there and it's still very comfortable to wear. Pause this video, pause it now, and go get these lashes. I'm not playing with you guys. You will be like, oh my gosh, you were right. The lashes are bomb. All right, so now that I have my lashes on, you can see how they look super super gorgeous it's magic now i'm going back into the makeup geek makeup geek <laughs> yeah right back into the mac palette and i'm taking that really dark brown i think it was called dance in the dark on a pencil brush and i'm going to sort of smoke it out on the lower lash line i'm going in with that shimmery brown my right or die brow product believe it or not and I'm saying this because when I think of right or die I'm thinking of like what I'm always gonna repurchase and I really feel that I'm gonna repurchase 
this e.l.f. brow pencil and I'm saying that more so over my Anastasia um, brow pencil and brow wiz because I don't know if you guys know how I feel about the brow definer but I will be doing a video on it so I'm not going to talk that much about it but with the brow wiz I love it yes but it's $21 and this is literally one or two dollars. So I love trying out new things, but I have to keep in mind my budget and you know how there's other things in life more important than makeup. The thing about this pencil that is neutral and using it on all skin complexions and hair colors it's like super weird it's like literally a magic pencil and I love it for that like I use this in my kit as well the brow wiz I go through that so often and it's like $20 here $20 there it's kind of annoying because I do my brows pretty much every day um whether that's just if I'm wearing makeup or no makeup like I like to do my brows like brows are things that I love to do as far as makeup and I can spend 10 hours doing my brows but we're not going to do that for this video. So I'm not going to clean up my brows today just for the sake of time, but going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz, this is something, however, I feel is will forever be in my kit and will forever be in my makeup drawer. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-Hour Glide-On Eye Pencil. Um, I love this. I have like two of these. I'm going to bronze my face using my favorite Ride or Die bronzer. This is the CoverGirl Queen's Collection bronzer. I think this bronzer is the reason why I don't, I haven't bought any like high-end bronzers, and it's because this bronzes my face like no other. Like, I love it. I love how warm it is. Um, it just looks so beautiful and bronzy. I don't know how other how else to explain. It, it's just really gorgeous and it makes it your face so flawless. Like look at my face so far guys. Like literally, I can bronze for days and it looks gorgeous. I love it. Ah, you guys, uh, drugstore. You can't tell me this is not a high-end bronzer I just put on my face. Girl, you can't tell me that. I don't know how much I paid for it. You just don't know. So my favorite blush is NARS Orgasm. Don't play, girl. Take it now, try it. Here, there you go. I'll give you, this is actually a spare. You go ahead and take it because you need to try this NARS orgasm. I'm listening down in the comments below. Get it now. It literally deceased me every, I just can't. It doesn't matter how much I put on. If you're lighter than me, it does matter, but I could literally put this on for days, for days, literally. Does not seem like I'm putting on so much blush. It controls this blush. It's magic. I don't know. It controls how much I put on. Let me let me stop before I start looking crazy. But you guys, please go pick this up. Done. And with that blush, you see how it gives that nice sheen with still a nice peachy look. We about to go a little crazy. I normally don't do this because uh, I like to look glowy, but not too, too glowy. But we're going to do it on sake of this video. I'm going in with Becca Topaz. And I have to hold my breath for this. I'm going to pat it off because I don't want to get too much on there. But <sighs> when it, I'm sorry. When I get to this part... Too much to bear you guys please go get Becca Topaz if you are my complexion just go get it now don't ask why don't be like girl what do it I'm gonna do the nose just because I'm feeling like a different person I normally don't highlight this much but the blush and the highlight got me feeling some type of way and I normally don't pair those two together but girl and I don't do my chin but it's happening. So next we're moving we're moving on to the lips. I have these two pencils that I'm gonna use. The first one is a matte chestnut. Hello. What you thought it was gonna be. 
Mac Chestnut, if you are women of color, ladies, girls at work watching this that work with me, friends and family, please get your hands on Mac Chestnut if you are women of motherfucking color. You can literally pair that lip liner with anything. Anything in the entire world, you name it. You can pair it with that. And it looks delicious. Maybe not delicious, but it looks great. And now I'm using the NYX Nutmeg. And this is a great lip pencil also. I love it. Um, normally, I just wear this by itself majority of the time and go. Whenever I'm in a hurry, just wear this by itself and go. And mix them together so that it's not so distinct, but this looks kind of cute too. What you think? Not really my style, but I can see some people wearing it like this. So for lipsticks, um, honestly, I haven't been, I've been neglecting my lipsticks lately. This freaking liquid lipsticks got me liquid crazy, okay? When I wore lipstick on a daily basis, um, I would always have MAC cream in your coffee. Go, Joe. The perfect color for women of color. The next one I have is Mocha Licious, and it looks like this. Here's some swatches. So here we have Mocha Licious. I love this chocolatey, like mauvey color. It's delicious on the lips, just as it sounds. And here I have Cream in Your Coffee, and you can literally put this without a lip liner, and it looks amazing. And it's so creamy. I don't like like those mattifying um, lipsticks. Try out Cream in Your Coffee. I think you'll like that if you're not into the whole liquid lipstick thing. And if you want like a more affordable uh, mattifying liquid, or not liquid, lipstick, then I would suggest the Wet n Wild Mochalicious. For my two liquid lipsticks, I love ColourPop Thule. I wear the hell out of this color. Uh, last fall and now that it's fall again I'm gonna wear it again I don't know why I didn't wear it over the summer but it's happening this is Kat Von D's Lolita I'm gonna be wearing Lolita today and that's what Lolita looks like and you can see I literally dipped in once and applied it to my whole lips and boom you guys if you haven't already, I'd suggest you pick up all these products that I listed because it literally changed my life. But Lolita, as far as the lip products, I am obsessed with. Love, love, love. The NYX Butter Gloss. I love these liquid lipsticks. Not any of the NYX uh, butter glosses are super amazing, super inexpensive. Like, I would recommend you getting a, you know, drugstore lip gloss rather than having a bunch of high-end lip glosses. Like, I honestly don't have that many high-end lip glosses, and if I do have one, then I love the MAC uh, lip glosses. Those are one of my favorite ones. But honestly, you do not need to spend that much on lip glosses. Like, the NYX Butter Gloss is a-okay. Okay, and finally, this is my Urban Decay D-Slick <laughs> Makeup Setting Spray. I will leave down below if you want to know more about this product. I reviewed it. The quality is kind of bad in that video. Sorry, it was my first video. But it's actually one of my more popular videos. I don't know why the quality is so bad. But um, just to give you a little rundown of this spray. You have oily skin. You want to control that oil, girl. You guys. Wait, one second. Oh shit, I'm running out! Uh, I'm out. Tried for the sake of the video, but I am clearly out. Going into my empty pile. I'll miss you. Alright guys, so that's going to conclude my ride or die tag. I know I'm kind of late to this, but if you haven't done this tag, I literally tag you to do it, girl, because... This was so much fun to do, like, creating this whole look with just my ride or dies. Like, I love it. And this is probably going to be my go-to, so, hey. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, before you leave, subscribe and like if you found this helpful in any way, shape, or form. Like if you are going to purchase or have purchased any of these items and you understand why it's my ride or die. See you next time. Bye.